Travel Guide Tips and Tricks, Presentation Part 4, the Uniform Edition. Yes, we really do need a whole thing on uniforms. Here's why. So when your guests first see you, the first thing they're going to see is your uniform. Each organisation is going to have their own specific set of rules and regulations when it comes to the uniform, but here's some basic tips and tricks on how to stay super professional. Step one, we need to iron the uniform. Somehow this is something that you guys always manage to miss every single year. I don't know why. So as you would have seen, my uniform already has my name on it, but for those who have to wear a name badge as part of their uniform, uh, fun fact, if you put your name badge on before you put the uniform on, then you can actually see and make sure that your name badge is as straight as possible to give you that extra level of professionalism. Next step is uh, tuck your uniform in. Make it look nice and pretty. Next step is making sure that your hair is neat and presentable. If you've got curly hair like me, good fucking luck. Now, not to be a call out, but this one specifically applies to young males under the age of 25 if you are from far north Queensland. This is deodorant. Use a lot of it, <laughs> but sensibly. Add your effects. Car keys, watch, Leatherman, mask, house keys. I'm not it. All I need now is my hat, which lives in my car. So I'll use a demo. Hats on, just need my boots. Uh, it helps if you try and keep your boots somewhat clean. I live in outback Queensland, so that's just not happening. Once again, I am a gremlin on the internet and you don't actually have to listen to me. Uh, but if you do and you like what I do, um, if you like, you can uh, check out my coffee page. Otherwise, if you have any questions about tourism or tour guiding, specifically in Outback Queensland, let me know. I'm quite happy to answer them. Um, but yeah, thank you.